Okay, so why do you need power development? Check me out. You need it if you want to be good. So let me explain. Let's imagine that this is you. And you want to perform what's so called penetration testing, where you purposely try to break into someone's systems and prove that they are vulnerable. Now, in order to do it, a specific things must be done. And of course, this can be different and vary based on your methodology. But in general, what you have to do is perform your reconnaissance. This can be either passive reconnaissance, including all the data about uh, all the guys working for the company, DNS uh, data, and so on and so on and so on. But it can also be active reconnaissance, such as Nmap scans, Nick2 scans, and other outputs from other different and useful tools. Now, the next step, and this is where pretty much the art of penetration testing is coming from, is to actually map the data you have from the reconnaissance phase into a vulnerabilities which are then exploitable, which possess some kind of a risk for the mentioned company. Now, after you've done that and you map a list of vulnerabilities and, of course, you prioritize them by their criticality, then you have to do the exploitation part. That's where you use the found vulnerability and you exploit it into getting some kind of access, obtaining some various user credentials or anything else that can be done. Then we have one more thing, which is the post-exploitation. So what happens is that when you exploit something, you don't just stop there. You proceed forward into more activities that can even help you dive deeper into some company structures until you potentially own and compromise their domain administrators. Now, that's the most, uh, let's say, standard scenario, I can say. But let's talk about malware development, why it's important, why do you need it, and, for example, how. So malware development is applicable and needed in each of the steps I just provided, each of them. There is no second opinion. Now you may ask the question, okay, I'll say, but why do I need Maldev when I can just run my tools, run my Nmap, run my Nesso scans, assess and exploit vulnerabilities? Well, I answered that in the very beginning of the, of the video. If you want to become best and if you want to become super good at what you do, you need malware development. Let me explain why. In the recon phase, if you know malware development, you would have the ability to create your own custom modules, your own custom tools and toolkits that can help you gather and extract information about a company or a target, which can be less detected, I can say. Of course, Nmap is great. I use Nmap. Oh, everyone uses Nmap. But in such edge cases, MAR development makes the difference. We can also write tools that can help us map these vulnerabilities. So the data collected from the first part is more understandable for a standard, let's say, human. Of course, for the exploit, we don't have to talk that much because the exploit development is a whole part of malware development. Of course, when you know how, of course, when you create your own exploit, it's going to be performing better because it's not going to be signatured by anything. And for post-exploitation, of course, when you land into an environment, you don't have to expect it's the fact that the environment is hardened. You are not going to land into an environment which is just doesn't have a navy. Most of the times you're going to land into somewhere where they have EDRs, different policy settings, IDS, IPS, and all other security measures that you can imagine. And trust me, Without more development, you are lost. Your engagement is going to stop there, or you're going to ask the client to say, hey, can you shut down this system, or can you shut down this security measure, which is an uh, unpleasant thing to do, by the way. So that's why you need more development, in order to be efficient and in order to be the best. When you do more development and when you know how to code it, you can create many stuff that can be undetected, from C2 implants to custom payloads and toolkits that can help you gather information, exploit vulnerabilities, or, for example, establish persistence. Now, the question is, how do you want malware development? And I have a good news for you guys, because I started my malware development series on Patreon. So all patrons can see it without paying anything. But if you want to buy it, you can have it in standalone version. By buying it, you have a long life access to it, which means that you're going to see all updates, 
without being my patron, without paying monthly subscription. When inside this course or bundle, I can say, there I'm going to explain everything you need to know from the basic of coding up until complex malware development topics. Of course, you're going to start with C because C is, I believe, the core language behind any other language. And my opinion is that if you know the C, you're going to know each and every language. Of course, in the future, we're going to make another bundles for specific languages like PowerShell, C Sharp, and so on. But for now, we're going to stick with the foundation because when we have a nice foundation, we have a nice base knowledge. So, thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to my Patreon and see you there.